from Intel having a horrible launch of their Ultra Series to the Z890s having a huge issue with the 24H2 Windows 11 uh, new update to Razer's new mouse that's $300. We got some talking to do. All right, so I already made a video about all the benchmarks between J2Cents and a lot of other content creators and influencers out there. Obviously, Intel really, really messed up with this launch. I mean, it, this is a... The, I haven't seen a launch like this from Intel. I I I don't I can't tell you when the last time. I only expected something like this coming from AMD. I'm sorry if you're an AMD fanboy, uh, but I might be on the same bandwagon here pretty soon, depending on how this uh, 9800X 3D comes out. I mean, I might my next build whenever I build here in February might actually be the uh, 9800X 3D. Uh, speaking of that, we do have right now is a good time to actually build. If you look, look at the 14900K, you know, there's a lot of people building right now on the old platform because it, for one, it's not that old. It's only a year old, but look at the price. I mean, even look right here at the 13900. 13900 is 437 to 440. Who would not want to get the 14900K over the 13900K? That's just insane. But saying that, you know, I am, I'm, I'm ready for the 9800X3D to come out and see what kind of performance it does. And hopefully, you know, AMD can prevail and really show up Intel and show Intel actually what a launch is supposed to be like. Okay, so next up is the Intel Z890 motherboards, uh, especially the Asus one so far is what we got. Uh, they're having a huge uh, crash issues and random reboots when trying to install Windows 11 24H2. So the walk around for this is going to be... Um, to update your BIOS to the latest BIOS. I mean, here's the steps right here. If anybody needs to follow this, but this is what they're saying. Uh, so far I've been running uh, Windows 24H2 for about, I don't know, since October 8th, no, October 4th, I've been running mine. I haven't had a problem with mine so far. So again, I guess it's the luck of the draw or, you know, however you want to put it. So far, the rumors of what we know about the uh, Ryzen 7 9800X 3D gaming processor, it's going to be the Zen 5 architect. It's going to have a 16% increase in the IPC, which increases the high power efficiency of 8 cores and 16 threads. It's going to run at 5.2 gigahertz. It's only going to have an 8% boost in gaming performance over the 7800X 3D, uh, which is, it, that's pretty low, right? But at the same time, we're going to have a 15% increase in multi-threaded workloads. So again, that's where we're having problems right now with the Intel chip is it's good for the multi-core multi, multi -core processing, but it's bad for gaming. So that's what I was talking about a minute ago. I'm really hoping this 9800X3D is really, really going to uh, send a signal or a message to Intel for them to step it up and bring back their game. You know, that they're just they're off their game right now. Works with the existing AM5 motherboards. Remember, I think uh, they're gonna support the this new socket right here uh up until 2027. So, but yeah, I'm I'm ready to see this one right here. Uh the 9800 comes out on November 7th, it is set to release for November 7th for the uh Ryzen 9000 X3D chip. For all you Spider-Man fans out there, Zotek is uh, planning to release a or releasing a 4090 uh, Spider-Man edition. Um, to me personally, I don't, the backplate looks cool. I, I do like the backplate. The front, I I don't really like the front, but hey, I mean, if you if you're into Spider-Man, here you go. I mean, this is going to be perfect. I believe it is the 4090D though, so I don't even know if we're going to be able to get it here in the U.S. or if the D is only for the China market. Well, if you caught my, you know, my impressions of the new 285K by Intel uh, on launch day on the embargo lifting, uh, watching everyone else's benchmarks and stuff on it, uh, you do know that I stated in there that I'm very disappointed about the RAM, which is this right here is the reason why. So G-Skill has already posted some RAM running at 9600. Uh, yes, the timing ain't that tight. It's a 46, 29, 29, 77. But, I mean, that's just some impressive numbers that we haven't been able to really see. Which, I mean, even if you wanted to upgrade to the 14900KS now, the motherboards we have is just still cannot 
handle this, um, or should I say the chip cannot handle this, excuse me. Um, motherboards can handle to a degree, but I would be really, really curious though, if they can actually do this with four dim sticks in there or only just two dim sticks. So that's going to be my curious. And not even just to get to 9600. Let's see if we can get to, you know, around 7200 with four dims. This is going to be some interesting. Uh, I'm ready to see what AMD is going to be offering and as far as the, the memory goes. And this is, of course, the Extreme CU DIMM uh, DDR5 in gear 4 by G Skill. All right, so Gigabyte already released theirs. Uh, this one's supposed to be coming out, I believe, this week as well. But Asus and Gigabyte both have released an adding card for Thunderbolt 5 support. Not that there's too many devices that are going to be able to utilize this, um, but even if you want to future-proof, since no motherboard is coming out with it, even some of like the Asus Extreme and stuff, I didn't see that they had uh, Thunder Thunderbolt 5 support on the actual new motherboard, on the new uh, Z890 motherboards. Okay, so with the launch of the new Black Ops 6, uh, NVIDIA has went through and added a new update for your uh, game driver. It is 566.03. So make sure that you go get the latest drivers to get the most optimum uh, power and efficiency out of your graphics card. And keeping it with NVIDIA and Black Ops 6, NVIDIA GeForce now gets Call of Duty, Black Ops 6, and nine more games. So we have Black Ops 6. We have what? Duckside, Windblown. Uh, there again, make sure if you're on NVIDIA GeForce Now, go check everything out. Make sure that you're up to date on your GeForce Now. Go ahead and take a minute and um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Go ahead and like, subscribe. You know, give me a, a, a poo emoji down in the comments. I don't care. Just, just leave something down there for me. Let me know that, that you're getting something out of this video. Uh, how many of y'all actually have a anything over a $60 to $100 mouse. Literally, put it down in the description. I mean, $300 for a mouse. That's what we're going to start talking about. Razer come out. Don't get me wrong. This thing looks like a beast. Look at this thing. I mean, this thing is beasty and sexy. I mean, I have a white build, but man, I would not spend no $300 on this. But yeah, I went and got this from uh, Tech Power. But yeah, that's everything you get in it, but... $300. Wow. But yeah, it's the Razer uh, Viper Mini Signature Edition. Are you one of the ones that like to stream on multiple platforms at one time? Let's say YouTube, Twitch, uh, Facebook. W w you know, you want to do multiples, but yet you can't. So uh, we have a new capture card by Nexicon. Uh, they launched their AI... Pixel Plus Capture X, the NV601, and the NV501. Uh, the NV501 uh, is $149.99 on Amazon, and the NV601 is $239.99. I'm actually, it, I might hear pretty soon, but I think I might go ahead and grab this and do a review on it. Uh, for one reason, one reason only. Check this out. You have VRR support, 4K60 support, uh, excuse me. So the NV501, 4K60 pass through, 4K30 capture. I want the NV601, 4K 144 capture and 4K 144 pass through. Holy heck. At $239 is, I mean, look at that right there. So again, I'll leave uh, an affiliate link down below for, the, for these two uh, if you want to check them out. If you get to it before I get a review up, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below and tell me, you know, uh, how, how it is and how it works. But yeah, I, I'm really excited actually about this one right here, uh, only because of some of the features that it has. I mean, 4K 144, you can stream to multiple places at one time. So yeah, I'm really, really curious about this. I really do want to try the Nexicon uh, 4K capture. I'm really ready to, uh, for the 9800X3D chip uh, to come out. I'm really disappointed in Intel. It really ticked me off. No, like me, I, I already have uh, 7800 RAM uh, by Patriot. Uh, their Demon or something like that that I have that I can never run right now. And uh, I was really excited and really ready to... Uh, try out and hit, let it hit that 7800, uh, even though it's not the CU dim, but still. 
But yeah, no, I mean, make sure you're updating your BIOSes. Make sure that you're telling Intel, give them the middle finger. Uh, hope, praise uh, AMD and hopefully they can do something better. But no, I'm Thomas of Tomology. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.